Have you ever wondered how certain behaviours in sexual relationships can be emotionally damaging and manipulative? This question brings us to the topic of sexual narcissism, a term that you might have come across. It's important to understand that sexual narcissism isn't a clinically recognised diagnosis. Using this term without a full grasp of its implications can lead to harmful stereotyping and labelling. However, it's undeniable that some individuals exhibit behaviours in their sexual relationships that can indeed be harmful emotionally. These behaviours are not exclusive to any specific personality type or diagnosis, but they can be damaging and manipulative, and it's crucial to recognise them. The first of these behaviours is an excessive focus on self-gratification. Some individuals may prioritise their own pleasure and satisfaction above their partners, completely disregarding their needs and desires. This is not about mutual pleasure, but rather a one-sided pursuit of satisfaction, often at the expense of the other person's comfort or enjoyment. Then there's the lack of empathy and emotional connection. For these individuals, sex may be viewed as a transactional act, devoid of any intimacy or emotional vulnerability. The emotional aspect which is integral to a healthy sexual relationship is missing, replaced by a cold, detached approach. Next, we have exploitation and manipulation. Some people may use sex as a tool to gain power or control over their partner. They may resort to guilt, coercion or threats to achieve their goals, turning an act of love and connection into a weapon of control. Finally, there's disrespectful and degrading behaviour. These individuals may engage in hurtful or humiliating acts during sex, completely disregarding their partner's boundaries or consent. This behaviour is not only disrespectful, but it also undermines the foundation of trust and respect that every relationship should be built upon. If you recognise any of these behaviours in your relationship, it's crucial to prioritise your well-being and seek support. Reach out to a trusted friend, family member or therapist, and remember, you're not alone in this. Understanding is the first step towards change. The journey might be difficult, but it's a journey worth taking. Imagine a partner who only cares about their own pleasure, disregarding your needs and desires. This is the first behaviour we'll discuss today, the excessive focus on self-gratification. In the realm of sexual narcissism, this trait often surfaces as a consistent pattern where one's own satisfaction reigns supreme and their partner's needs are left in the dust. This isn't about those occasional moments where one person's needs might momentarily take precedence, but rather a consistent, ongoing disregard for the other's desires. The sexual narcissist might prioritise their own pleasure so intensely that they completely overlook their partner's comfort, their preferences and even their consent. This obsession with personal satisfaction often stems from a deeply ingrained sense of entitlement and a lack of empathy. It's like they're in their own world, where their needs are the only ones that matter. When your partner disregards your needs, it can feel isolating and emotionally damaging. Have you ever felt like sex was a transactional act, devoid of intimacy or emotional vulnerability? This feeling might stem from a lack of empathy and emotional connection, which is another possible behaviour exhibited by individuals we're discussing today. Imagine being in a relationship where your partner views sex as a means to an end. Their focus is not on emotional closeness, nor is it on mutual satisfaction. Instead, they see it as a way to achieve their own goals without considering your feelings or desires. This lack of empathy and emotional connection can make you feel used, undervalued and emotionally isolated. These individuals may not understand or care about the emotional nuances of a sexual relationship. They may disregard your feelings, your needs or the intimate bond that should be part of a healthy sexual relationship. Experiencing this lack of emotional connection can be very hurtful. It's important to remember that a healthy relationship involves mutual respect, emotional connection and intimacy. Remember, intimacy means mutual respect and emotional connection. Can you imagine your partner using sex as a tool to gain power or control over you? This is the harsh reality for some people, where sex becomes a battleground of exploitation and manipulation.
In this context, we're talking about individuals who might use guilt, coercion or threats to achieve their sexual goals. It's a behaviour that's far from healthy, reflecting a deep-seated need for dominance and control. Imagine a scenario where a partner uses guilt as a weapon. They might say things like, if you love me, you would do this for me. This is a classic manipulation tactic, twisting your emotions to meet their desires. Then there's coercion. This can be subtle or overt. It's when your partner pressures you into doing something you're uncomfortable with, disregarding your boundaries and dismissing your feelings. And threats? They can be terrifying. They might threaten to leave you to reveal intimate secrets or worse. It's a tactic designed to instill fear and obedience, to manipulate you into surrendering control. This behavior isn't about passion or desire, it's about power. It's about using sex as a weapon, a tool to manipulate and control. It's a clear sign of a disturbing lack of empathy and respect for their partner's autonomy and well-being. Remember, sex should never be about power or control. It's about mutual consent, respect and enjoyment. If you find yourself in such a situation, don't hesitate to seek help and support. You deserve to be treated with kindness, respect and love. Have you ever felt disrespected or degraded during sex? This question may be uncomfortable, but it's crucial to address. It's the fourth behavior often exhibited by individuals displaying traits of sexual narcissism, disrespectful and degrading behavior. In a healthy relationship, boundaries are respected and consent is paramount. However, someone who exhibits traits of sexual narcissism might disregard their partner's boundaries or consent. They may engage in acts that are hurtful or humiliating to their partner, often without any regard for the emotional or psychological consequences. These acts can range from subtle to overt, from dismissive comments about a partner's body or performance to outright non-consensual actions. The common thread is a lack of respect for the partner's autonomy, dignity and well-being. The intention is often to assert dominance, to exert control, or to derive satisfaction at the expense of the other person's comfort and self-esteem. It's important to understand that this behavior is not about sex. It's about power. It's a form of manipulation, a way for the individual to maintain control in the relationship. It's not about passion or desire, but rather about dominance and control. Remember, your boundaries matter. Your consent matters. You matter. If you find yourself in a situation where these lines are being crossed, it's crucial to prioritize your well-being and seek support. It's not just about standing up for yourself, but also about acknowledging that you deserve respect and dignity in all aspects of your life. Your boundaries matter. Your consent matters. You matter.